All right, I have told you about the straw hat dinner that our family has been loving for generations. And today I'm going to share with you just how easy and delicious it is. Now, many of you may know this recipe as Frito pie. I make it a little bit different than Frito pie because my understanding Frito pie is baked in the oven. This is like a taco bowl with specific ingredients our family always uses. These are the classic ingredients we're going to be using today for the straw hat. We're needing some ground beef. You can use any kind of leanness that you prefer as well as refried beans. Of course, you can make your own with pinto beans, but we're going to go a little bit easier today and use the ones that are already refried for us. We also need the corn chips. The corn chips on the bottom of the plate makes a straw hat. So that's where it gets its name from. And we also use this Ortega. It is the classic sauce that we've always used in our family for it. We need some sour cream to top with, as well as some tomatoes to top with, lettuce, taco seasoning for the flavoring. And then we use some Colby Jack cheese or whatever kind of cheese you prefer. We also have some other toppings if you'd like some jalapenos, I like to cook my meat with green chilies and some onion. So that's what we're gonna get started with here. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is get started on our ground beef. I have one pound of lean ground beef and I'm going to add half of a large onion. I'm gonna dice that up fairly small and then use that at the same time as browning the ground beef. If you know by now, I love using onion, salt, pepper, any kind of seasoning at the same time as cooking the meat from start to finish. I don't wait until the meat is fully cooked. I'm also opening up both cans that I have here since the recipe moves pretty quickly. So once I have those opened, I'm gonna start by cooking the meat, the onions with a generous helping of the taco seasoning. You can make your own or have store-bought, which is what I like to do, mine is from Costco. And then I use this really awesome tool to help mash up the meat and it keeps it from having large chunks. With the beans, I'm just putting it into a bowl for the microwave with a little bit of water and some taco seasoning. Microwave that for about a minute and a half. And then once the meat is about fully cooked, I went ahead and added that little can of green chilies. Totally optional, but I love the flavor it adds. And then just go ahead and put a little bit of water in that skillet as well to give some more sauciness to the meat and let it just sit there for a couple of minutes. The final thing to do for this straw hat meal is to set up the taco bar for everybody to build their own. So we're going to get started with the lettuce while the meat is finishing up on the stove. We've got the beans in the microwave. So that gives us a chance to chop up the lettuce. Just make sure you get that washed nice and clean. Chop it up finely and you can use iceberg lettuce, romaine lettuce, spinach even, whatever you have on hand that you prefer. And then I'm using Roma tomatoes. You can use any kind you have on hand. During the summer, I always have a lot of little cherry grape type of tomatoes in my garden. So we've used those plenty of times as well. You're just gonna wanna have everything fresh and ready to go for everyone. Here you can see the beans, the meat. I have the hot sauce and jalapenos. Anything else that you may want to add to this dish and let everyone build their own. their own unique way of how they feel is the right way to layer their straw hat. But it really doesn't matter as long as you have everything in the bowl that you want, it's going to taste amazing. But I do like to top off my bowl with just a little bit more of those chips to give some more crunch. So I hope that you enjoy this recipe. Try it out sometime. Let me know in the comments if you do. And until the next video, I will see you in the comments. <laughs>